Hi everyone, Nikki from Petomania Stop. I'm just going to do another short video on what I've been up to lately. I'm currently in the process of making Disney shirts for my daughter and her boyfriend for Christmas because they are leaving on Boxing Day. And um, this is what one of them on the back so far has looked like. I'm doing red for male and the pink one for female and basically I started off by cutting a white layer of HTV and I've temporarily not temporarily but I've tacked it on for only 10 seconds right now just to briefly lightly get it tacked on and now I'm about to put on the glitter layer and what I'm doing on the girl version is I also have a little red bow. And instead of um, worrying about doing the black glitter and then having to do the red after, I know with glitter iron on, you're supposed to do it as the very last step. So I peeled off the bow that was on this piece of... So now I'm just going to press this last layer on all at once here. And I'm trying to hold my camera, so I'm just going to have to put my camera down for now while I do that. Okay, I've got that positioned correctly, and now I'm going to do this last layer on for 320 for 30 seconds. And then we will have two backs done for two different shirts. All right, I've pressed it already, and now this is just cooling down a little bit. And yeah, it's cool enough now. I should be able to pull this off. All right, so there we have my daughter's version and the bow worked out. And the fact that I put the white layer behind it's nice because now it looks more like Minnie's bow. And then there's the male version. So we've got pink and a red. All right, so now what my plan is is on the front, but where it's gonna get tricky for me is that for the first time I am trying Puff HTV. I think this one was from Trans Wonder. So it's gonna be my very first time and I've been told that when you do Puff it has to be the very last step. So what I did was I made this Puff to fit inside the black lines. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this is gonna work or not. I hope that it does. If this doesn't shrink too much or shift or you know something, but I'll press this first and then I actually have to find the one that says I'm his, first of all, because this is the wrong shirt. But for some reason, I'm missing that part, so I think I might have to recut it because I may have thrown it out by mistake. But anyways, on the red shirt, this is gonna be I'm hers and we're going to try doing the puff for the first time and please work otherwise this whole shirt's going to look terrible but let's give it a shot all right i've got this in position now i am going to heat press it for 330 for 30 seconds on my htv Vermont heat press i do want to point out i don't know if you can see all this sticky gooey stuff on here this is because for the first time i decided to buy some no name mats off of Amazon and with one use stuck these on here and it pulled off all the sticky stuff with the mat so needless to say I'm going to be returning the mats because they're terrible but because of this sticky here I have to put a piece of parchment paper on top because otherwise this all this residue is going to get on the top of my heat press I don't know how anybody has bought those mats before because they're awful. But anyways, here we go. I'm gonna stick this on here and heat this up. Okay, I've just pulled it out of the machine and it is cooling down. And I will remove this. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can see that this, because of the sticky on the other side, stuck to this and it's pulling itself off. That is so funny. So yeah, good thing I put that butcher paper there. All right, this one should be good as well. All right, so there we are. 
Now I just am going to try to fit this in here. But what I want to do first is I'm going to do a test on a little scrap piece of fabric just to see how this works because I've never used it before. Okay, so I've done a little test here. I heated this at uh, 320 for 15 seconds. And I'm about to, sorry, I dropped the phone. I'm about to pull this off and see what it looks like. I mean, I, I have no clue what puff's supposed to look like normally. But, I mean, there is some puff to it, but it kind of just looks like a bunch of little wrinkles. <laughs> but it's still cool. It's going to give it some dimension, like a Mickey glove would be so i think this is looking good so i am going to attempt to fit this in here now and do one last press okay here comes the big reveal it also says to use parchment paper instead of teflon because i'm not sure the reason but i think it has to do with moisture getting trapped Ooh, this is looking good. And I don't know if you can notice, but I did have to tape this down with heat resistant tape because this doesn't stick well to glitter. As you know, the general rule is to do the glitter as the last layer. So this is an experiment, both using puff and doing it after I've done my layer of glitter. So let's see how this goes. It didn't line up perfectly when I was putting it in. But luckily, due to the puff nature, it has co colored in or covered in most of the gaps. So it looks pretty good, but I just see for one reason there's this little bit of a bunch right here. But oh well. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see if on the other one that'll happen again or if I'll get a better result on the second one. But it's pretty cool. It definitely gives the glove some more dimension, which is really nice. So I'm happy with this. Okay, here we go with the second reveal. And you know, it actually pretty much comes off all on its own because this puffs up and it just kind of pushes off. So I hardly have to peel it at all. And yay, the second one looks actually perfect. There's no extra little bump there. All right, so now we have a I'm Hers and we got an uh, I'm Hers and an I'm His pointing at each other. And on the back side, we have this, which I found on Etsy, by the way. And I just changed the bow. I and there's the back of the male shirt, the female shirt. And then because these cutouts, I thought I'm not gonna waste these, so I peeled them off and kept them. And on one of the shoulders here, I used some of those cutouts from there and put it on the shoulder of this one. And some of the little Mickeys from over here, I put on one of the sleeves. So anyways, I hope my daughter will really like this. I can't post this video until at least Christmas, uh, in case she sees the video by mistake. But yeah, this has been a really fun project and I really like the puff. And I think it was perfect for this situation. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of video and get out there and craft some stuff because it's really rewarding sometimes. Take care, everyone.